love physics but bad at math? Unfortunately, that probably means sticking to pop science for you. At least, that's what the data says. Now, before I begin, I don't want to discourage anyone from trying to do what they're passionate about. Statistics is about broad trends and does not generally speak to individual behavior. That said, a good decision is a well-informed decision, so here's some information. The general consensus across the physics education literature is that mathematical ability correlates quite strongly with success in physics at the undergraduate level. Study after study after study shows the same thing. Students entering a physics class or major that have lower competency in mathematics are less likely to succeed across all metrics major GPA, course grade, and even conceptual understanding. One important study from 2010, and a larger application study from 2024, established that among 12 majors selected from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences, only the physics and mathematics majors showed a necessary threshold for success. The original study examined the relationship between SAT scores and major GPAs at the time of completion of the undergraduate degree, and found that no one who had a math SAT score under 600 got a 3.5 GPA or higher in either math or physics, which is the threshold they used for mastery, which is reasonable because it's the typical threshold below which you might not expect to get into grad school. The follow-up study found a nearly identical result, finding less than 2% of physics majors with a major GPA of 3.5 or higher and less than 1% of math majors with the same having a math SAT score of lower than 600. This is all to say the threshold effect is pretty robust. Now, of course, the math major data is pretty expected, but upon reflection, so is the physics data. Unlike the other hard sciences, physics is very much done in the language of mathematics. While chemistry and biology might use mathematics as a tool, in physics, it's very much more like the primary means of communication. So if one is not fluent in that language, you will have a hard time even learning the concepts. By analogy, imagine you have a deep passion for Shakespearean theater, yet you're not fluent in English. Surely you can imagine that if you were to major in Elizabethan English literature, you would struggle in your very first classes because instead of focusing on learning the material, you'd be spending your time trying to just understand the words your professor is saying. A similar thing happens in physics. If you're struggling to connect the mathematical concepts together during a lecture, you won't be able to spend your brain power processing the underlying physical concepts. Now, none of this is to say that it's impossible to succeed in physics without a strong math background. What it does mean, however, is that you will have to put in a lot more time getting your math skills up to par and going over lectures later to make sure you didn't miss anything conceptual while trying to follow the math. If you choose to go this route, it'll be a struggle. If you succeed, though, it'll be so worth it because physics is wonderful.